Robin Williams' daughter Zelda is well aware of an uncanny impression of her late dad that's going viral. The 32-year-old sounded off on Twitter this week in response to a recent YouTube video in which actor Jamie Costa channels Robin in an imagined recreation of the day he found out about the death of friend John Belushi in 1982. Dreams? Well, dreams are a beautiful aspect of human culture. In fact, it happens when you're at night and you close your eyes and all kinds of images happen and it's really bizarre. Well, let's try this one. Well, it depends on all you ask. If you ask Cinderella, she might sing it to you and say, Robin? A dream is a wish your heart. Robin! Jamie's impersonation is eerily accurate, from mimicking Robin's voice and mannerisms to also perfecting his Mork and Mindy look. Though fans are understandably wowed by Jamie's work, Zelda wanted to make it clear she just doesn't need to see it again. Zelda explained that she has no beef with Jamie or even the video itself, but she's tired of followers assuming it's something she's interested in watching at all, let alone more than once. So she set the record straight once and for all, writing, Guys, I'm only saying this because I don't think it'll stop until I acknowledge it. Please stop sending me the test footage. I've seen it. Jamie is super talented, this isn't against him, but y'all spamming me an impression of my late dad on one of his saddest days is weird. Robin died by suicide in 2014 following a battle with Louis body dementia. He was 63 years old. Zelda has previously opened up about the difficulty of grieving his loss in the public eye. Two years after the comedy legend's passing, she took a social media break and explained in a Twitter statement that she felt it was necessary to not only give herself the space she needs, but to provide Robin's fans room to celebrate his life, writing, For those who always ask why, it's so people can memorialize Dad on the anniversary of his death however they wish without me having to feel bombarded by it or pressured by the expectation put on myself or my family to publicly acknowledge or join in doing so. I will always be so grateful for all the love the world had and continues to have for Dad, but for obvious reasons, it's sometimes harder to be the sort of surviving public vessel for receiving those sentiments and one often expected to somehow flawlessly express them back.